seen the thumbnail, you guys already know what type of video this is going to be. This is going to be an install video of me installing my hair from the wig dealer. So this is basically just going to be a video of the things that I use to make my wigs look decent for me. Like I said, I'm not a professional, so if you're interested in seeing how I do it, keep watching this video. And yeah, let's get into it. So when you receive your hair from the wig dealer, it comes with a middle part if you choose the hair that I got, which I will be telling you about that. And it also comes with a detachable strap and it has three little clips and I like to put mine for secure reasons on the last one because you know, you don't want your wig to fall off, it's so embarrassing. And then also, if you don't want to wear the elastic band thing that came with it, you can take it off. But I wear the one mine because sometimes I don't like to glue my wigs all the way down if I'm just running errands. And that's, you know, that's that. And also, it comes with a, a comb in the back. Now, I'm going to show you guys how I install my wigs because this is easy for me. I am not a professional. I'm going to say that one more time. I am not a professional. This is what I do to make my wigs look good. So... If you want to learn how I do it, just keep watching this video. So first thing I like to do when I get my wigs is I like to put either some pressed uh, powder or a little concealer. But at this time, I'm going to be using my Anastasia Beverly Bronze because it's the same skin of my color. And I'm just going to take a little bit like this and I'm going to do the wig. Oh, and also... The wig do come with bleach knots. They are bleached and the hairline is pre plucked But she also says in the um, note that she sends with your wig, you can bleach your knots again if you want to and you can't pluck it again. Me, I'm not good with bleaching that, good with bleaching the knots on wigs. So I just tend to do, like I said, my bronze and my pressed powder and I like to do this in the inside of the wig. But to me, I don't feel like you should bleach when if you do receive this wig, I don't feel like you should um, bleach it because the knots to me are perfect. But you know, there are some people who like them, I guess, perfect better than that, I guess. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but yeah. So all I'm doing right now is taking my bronze, which is my skin tone, and I'm putting it on the frontal. I'm not even in the frame, so you guys can see, sorry. I'm just doing this. Let's up. And just till I get it to my liking. Do don't put a lot. Just dab. And just do it to your liking. You will know when it's to your liking. You will know when it's too much. Don't put too much because then it's gonna be looking all cakey around your edges. And that is enough. Then I like to go in. With some hairspray. Right now, I'm out of Got's to Be glue, the yellow can. So I'm gonna use my Sebastian Shaper Plus and just spray in the inside on my frontal, like that. Okay. And I'm just gonna take my blow dryer and go like this. Just to, you know, not too much, just to make, just to make it, you know, just to make it all dry. Then, oh yeah, if you want to do the bald head cap method, you can. I'm pretty sure there's tons of videos on YouTube of you guys on how to do that. I, you know, it is what it is. This is video not really going to be long because I know a lot of us do not like long videos like that. We just want you to get straight to the point. We don't need the A to Z. We just need the A to B. So yeah, I'm going to put the wig on. And the hair is washed. I have had this hair for about two months now and I've been wearing it off and on. And I must say each time that I wear this hair, bomb. So I'm just trying to line it up there. Let's 
take that part down. so I can pull it back because it's kind of hard at this moment doing it like this. So right now all I'm doing is lining it up with my, my hairline, lining my wig up with my hairline so I can glue it down. Just making sure everything is lined up perfect. So we can get this thing going. Okay, now that I have it kind of to where I want it to be, I haven't decided if I want to do a middle part or a side part because I love a middle part and I do love a side part. Hmm, I don't know. I guess we'll see at the end of this video what I decide to do. So right now, after I got a line done, what I'm going to do, uh, so I glue. I'm going to glue it down. Now, I know some of you girls like to use Gots to Be Glue and I like to use that as well. But since then, I went to my local store and they didn't have any. I've been using the Olive Oil Fix This Super Hold. And to me, I really like this because it's just about the same as the Gossip Be, but a little bit different. I feel like this is kind of, in my opinion, a little bit better. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like. You can find it at Walmart, your local beauty supply, CVS. Walgreens and I like to use this stuff now because I don't know it's just something about to be I just don't I like it but I don't like it and it seemed like ever since I found this I kind of like this better I feel like it holds my hair better and I don't get that little white y'all know like we use the guys to be it leaves like a white residue and this one to me it doesn't do that so yeah I'm going to lay the wig down with this and I don't even have my comb. Y'all are so unprepared, but yeah, I'm real like that. Okay, I'm back now. So yeah, I got my comb. I still got some hair in it from washing this hair. Okay, I'm gonna pull the wig back just a tad like that. And I'm gonna spray. A little like this onto the middle. I'm gonna tap it in, and if a little bit falls off your face, it's okay because we're gonna clean all that up after we finish with the wig. And I like to take my blow dryer and now that it's a little not so wet, it's tacky. And also, if you're gonna blow dry your hair when you're using this or any gossip, make sure you don't have it on high heat. Make sure you have it on cool heat because when you put it on high, it dries it up and it's gonna make it hard for you to lay your wigs down. So mine is ready now. So now I'm gonna go pulling it down. And for me, I don't know how most of y'all like to lay your wigs. I like to start laying my wigs down from the middle of my, uh, the middle, like the middle of the wig. Cause I find that super easy. And also when I do my side parts, I also part my wigs in the middle so it can be even on both sides when I lay my wigs. So therefore, I won't be cutting 
how should I say, it's like cutting the lace, too much of the lace off before I do a side part. And I'm just gonna tap that in with my comb. And you can use any kind of comb, but I prefer to use a right tail comb, the ending of it to help, because I find that these help you lay your wigs pretty good, the ending, the little tail, I'm sorry. So then I'm gonna take, you can start from any side, the right side or the left side, for me, I always start from the left, I don't know why, but I do. Then I'll just spray like that. And then sometimes I rub it in with my fingers, or sometimes I use the Q-tip. But as of right now, I'm a little unprepared, so I'm gonna use my fingers. I'm gonna take that blow dryer again. Sometimes when I lay my wigs, I learned that if you, when you're going your wigs on and you don't want it to get crunchy, because sometimes you can get the hairspray on the hair and it makes it hard and kind of like tacky and stick together. I was watching Eric and Tay, which I know everybody loves Eric and Tay, and when he was gluing their wigs down or whatever, he was using the comb to push back the hair and to make it look natural. And as you can see right here, I don't know if you got, you can see. Some of it didn't stick, so what I like to do is go back in with my spray. Like that. to do the same thing on the right side with the flowers. Sure you do it even because you know I know that some girls <laughs> where I work at it's a lot of women that come to my job that wear lace fronts or lace fronts so. and I know that some of them wigs when they put them on or whoever's doing their wigs it doesn't be lay right they like have like little bumps in between like I don't know if y'all know like this and we don't want that we want it to be nice and flat. Somebody's gonna talk about you. 
and I'm one of them. Let me, I know people laugh at people when they lace them right. you get your wig on what I like to do is I know most people like to go in and tie they tie it down I don't really too much do that mm -mm. only tie my hair down when I get ready to do my baby hairs after I'm sorry after I do my baby hairs but to me nah I really do that but you can do that and see how it looks there on oh he the skinny bag Okay. Right. Right now, what I'm doing is just making sure the wig is laid down and making sure the hair, you know, little edges on the side, like little baby hairs, are not too hard with hairspray. Like I said, you tend to might get hairspray on the hair, but all you need to do is just brush it out, make sure it's dry, and brush it out. that I have had this hair for two months now and to me it gets better each time like this is the hair freshly washed and I mean it looks good like I mean not looks good because it ain't done but like it's just I don't know I just love this hair like out of all the hairs that I have gotten and that I order from places I feel like this is one of my top hairs besides Nadulia and Ali Julia hair I feel like everybody needs this type of hair. If you want some good quality hair, everybody needs this type of hair in their wig inventory. So now what I'm doing is just making sure everything is straight. And you know, moving the flaw away, making sure the wig is straight. And look, see how I was telling y'all about that glue? I'm sorry, not glue. That spray, look, just like it has to be on, on. So now what I'm gonna do is take my clamp again, and push the hair back, and I'm gonna be using my baby hair brush that you can get this at your local beauty supply, and you can also get this at Walmart, CVS, cause I've seen them, but mostly beauty supplies. Cause they always have them. I'm just going through, making sure I don't have no hairspray in the hair, just combing it out. And then what I like to do is wipe my edges from the spray. As you can see, I have spray on my face, which is okay. Wiping the excess spray off. Like that. I'm just filling in some of the areas that are still like kind of coming up. And you don't want to put too much of this spray or any spray that you use later with that. They're going to make your lace real crunchy. Now, some girls, 
are nervous, you know, or not even some girls. You can go in with your brush and go like this. I normally do that sometimes, just to fill it in to make it look more like a natural hairline. And I'm just going back in with my Anastasia Beverly press, not press, sorry. My bronze. And doing that to make it look more realistic. And some girls like to wear their hairs like this. I don't. Me, I love baby hairs. I think it makes the hair look nice. And then there's sometimes when I don't like baby hairs. But we're going to do baby hairs. So, I still haven't decided if I want to wear this hair in the middle part or a side part. But I'm going to go ahead and do my baby hairs. And I guess at the end of this little tutorial, you guys will see what I chose. So, what I do to lay my baby hairs down, I used to use guys to be, but then I didn't like it because after a while, your baby hairs look kind of hard and crunchy, and I didn't want that. And you should want that. So what I like to use is Pro Style Little Gel, just a dab of it to slick my baby hairs, and then I, used to, I go in with a little of this, just so it can hold. So, how I'm gonna do my baby hairs is I'm gonna just do two right here and one on the side and then the little swoop and I mean if you want to do one in the middle you can but I don't want to do that I do that so much and I see so many girls like that and I don't want to be like other people I want to be like me and you should want to be like you too so I'm going to start with this one only take a little bit or take what you choose I feel like take a little bit because if you take a little bit you won't look so much like you have a wig on and you know what, you know I'm not gonna say that. Do your baby hairs how you wanna do your baby hairs. Whatever makes you comfortable. This is how I choose to do mine. That's too much, so I pull something back. Put that back. I'm going with like this much of the gel. Keep on doing it until I get it to my liking. And you should too. If you don't like it, keep doing it until you get it to how you like. I feel like this one, my part is driving me crazy. Let's see what Okay, I feel like that is so. Okay, so I'm just gonna go in with a dab, and then I'm gonna take my baby hair. I said, I said my baby hair, my blow dryer. So you might not have to cut cut it to make you some baby hairs because when I received this wig, I didn't really have to go in and make baby hairs. Like when I put the wig on, I just pulled a few strings out and I did cut just a little bit. I take the back. I did cut just a little bit to make them, you know, shorter so they won't be so long. Just 
gonna go on with my scissors because it's one of the parts that I asked them how I wanted to act. gel right here to smooth the bag because I ran out of my wax stick so yeah I'm gonna have to work with what I have and the wax stick does lay your hair good if you ever sorry I'll be losing my train of thought if you ladies ever decide to sell your own wigs make sure you get a wax stick because the wax stick does make it look much better it holds the wig in place like the flat. I'm not gonna say hold it in place, it holds it flat. But I mean, Moose does the same thing as well. But the wax stick just does it justice. If y'all hear kids, it's the little nappy head kids in my apartments. I'll take that back, not nappy. It's the <sighs> managed kids in my apartment. And when I tell you managed, I mean managed. strings you see you can just cut them
this one. I don't know why. I'm just not liking this. Cause I see my wig trying to like come up. Pieces are trying to come up. pretty much how I do my baby hair sometimes but this one just seem a little bit I don't know I'm not really liking this side right now so I'm gonna have to fix that For now but that is pretty much ladies how I do my baby hairs on my wigs and my lace frontal wigs and my lace closure wigs too and yeah I didn't want to do the thing I wanted to look natural right here and I'm just gonna go back and with a little make it look natural as you guys can see so I'm not done yet with the slaying my wig I see some spots so that's pretty much what the hairs are looking like and then how I get my wigs to be flattened like I said I am out of my wax stick y'all don't kill me with getting up again so I'm not ready to do it 
I like to use my olive oil two in one heat defense and shine mitt spray to flatten it. And what I'm gonna use to flatten it. Are you kidding me? Okay, beauties, now that I got the wig on, like I was saying before the camera cut off again, I'm so sorry. I am out of my wax stick, so I'm gonna use my Tresemme mousse to get it flattened, and I'm also gonna be using my hot comb. Now, that's one thing you guys need when you are going to be laying your wigs and you want them to look flat and not so wiggy, you must use a hot comb. I know some people like to use the curling iron or a wand to get it flat, but I feel like they don't do it as justice. A flat iron comb does. It's almost there. So, what I'm going to do is put, the mousse, put a little mousse. Okay, beauties, this is the final result of what I did to my hair. All I did was took my three-point hot shot uh, tool, curling tool, and just did some little curls, and this is what it came out to. Nothing much, just something simple to add curls. But yeah, thank you guys for watching this video, and don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. And like always, stay beat, ladies. See you in the next one.